Hello YouTube, Infinite Magic Ray community. Hope everyone's doing well. As promised, here's a quick follow-up video on HP Damage Healer. And you're about to be mind blown by what I'm about to say. You would think that most of your HP Damage Healers will scale off building a lot of HP. Well, guess what? The attack stat actually helps your HP-based damage dealers as well. So I'm just gonna showcase this very quickly on the screen and you'll be mind blown by what you're about to see. So assuming in a game where you say, hey, my damage here, if we read the description for Agatha, right? Agatha does damage based on Agatha's max HP. Hmm, okay. All of the things seems to scale off HP. Here we got another hero, Gru. Gru's ultimate does damage based on his max HP, right? So you'd be like, yeah, these are HP scaling. What are you talking about, well, Gandalf? Why, why does attack matter? So let's watch this slowly and see how you know, it plays out. So first, I'm going to set Agatha's attack to as low as possible, just for dramatic effect. You can see Agatha is not hitting anything at all. Agatha's damage, the number you saw there the first time, that was due to um, the, 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 the little bats there, the, the debuff she does, reducing the target's max HP. Look, look how little damage she does. Sorry, I have to do that a little bit slower for you. Look at Gru's damage. Boom! A lot more, right? But Agatha, um, all of these great skills that are like hitting 2k, they're hitting a tiny amount, right? And, um, and here we can see the attribute. Well, you know, Gru, I put as Gru at maximum attack. If Gru's, you know, attack was down way low, and Agatha was actually a lot more normal, say put back to the 30,000 mark, you can see the damage will come back right away. So Gru here is gonna be doing like literally no damage, and Agatha is gonna be doing a lot more, see, boom, a lot more nor normal now, right? Like in the 20,000s a little bit. So earlier today we talked about the game formula. Um, what the game has done is kept this part of the formula the same. So your damage reduction factor for HP-based damage healers is still this formula. So attack still impact the amount of damage you do. So which means if you happen to have attack up on your Agatha's team, yeah, you're going to be reducing the damage reduction factor the enemy is going to take. So effectively, attack up will also help Agatha. If you're in a PvP situation, if you do an AoE attack down for some, if you happen to bring a hero like that, well, it's actually going to reduce the damage output of Agatha as well. So attack down may be making its way into the meta for PvP. If you can consistently land attack down, it is actually the most effective way, way of reducing your opponent's damage output. Which is kind of crazy, because we normally think attack down is more of a PvE kind of skill. You never bother using that in PvP. So the most effective way of reducing damage is actually looking at this factor here is just cutting the def cutting the attack down making of your opponent and making your defense a lot more useful. So there you go. Um, yeah, let me let me I mean we can take a few look again here for some examples. So so for let's see how big of a difference it makes, right? So my uh, let's just see what kind of difference it makes here. So Agatha, we're gonna put her just at you know the typical Agatha health, which is around say 700k HP. Okay, a normal Agatha has you know maybe if you really you know don't put any subs in it. Let's say put it at 30,000, um, and uh, let's put the enemy team there. Uh, 30,000 defense. Okay, so that's that's all right. So let's just quickly see what happens when we Agatha hit um, on just auto attack here. Um, so we did 1200k, right? So let's just say, you know, Agatha happened to got to attack up. So that's another 40%. What would it actually do to you? So plus 40%, that puts it at 4200. Should have forgot the number, but but let's let's just, just write that down for a sec here. So, oh, darn it, that crit. Um, Let's just make sure we turn off crit here, so it's more reliable. Um, let's screw, get out of the way. Um, Agatha is going to hit 1,200, and when she doesn't have it, she's hitting t a little bit uh, less. I like 10,000. Hold on, let's just 
hold on, add, 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 attribute. Let's make sure we give all the HP back. Watch that again. So 10,000. So the difference was 120,000 versus 10,000. So it was a 40% attack up. You basically got about a 20% damage increase right there. And these are using very, very realistic stats. So if you don't believe me, go into the, the trial. Go try it on your own Agatha. Bring an attack up next time and see what it does to your damage. Gandalf out.